Sam, you dirty scoundrel! There are scoundrels in this earth, and you are one of them. A dirty one. Welcome there ain't to Genius Bar. Room in this town for the two of us, JP. How, how did we just check the quality of the video before I did my intro, and then I did my intro, and then it pooped? It's because it knows the kind of scoundrel that you are, <laughs> sir. It's because you stood up. You're giving it too God, much information to work with. you made me angry. You <laughs> made me upset with your Vision Pro you're, but rhetoric. You're, all, you're always upset. Literally always. Why are you upset oh, now? I'm, I'm a happy the, guy. Well, here's the I'm funny upset thing. currently because of my quality. But. Here's the funny thing, Sam. Okay. I don't know if you know this, but uh, the guy that the videos that you don't like, his name is John. Yeah. He also does a podcast with a guy named Sam. Ew, Sam is a dirty hate. scoundrel. He's handsome, <laughs> but he's a dirty scoundrel. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't know him, though. And okay. uh, he does this show with him. You should look it up. It's called Genius Bar. And uh, there's a little known thing that happens on Genius Bar where Sam and John will say things on that show for the first time and then will dive deeper or make an uh, their own personal YouTube video about it on their channel. And there was this funny thing that occurred that during that podcast, John said all the same things that he said in his YouTube video that he put out. Hmm. And Sam agreed with him during the episode. But then John put the video out and Sam got upset. I can't figure out why that is. <laughs> you... Ah, there's okay. First of all, we've got a packed episode, guys. Just let's let's start off by saying that we've got vision pro creators. We got details about what we did. We're also going to be diving into all the little tidbits about it, what to expect. There's some bonuses that came out just like a couple minutes ago about how launch day is going to go. So we've got a packed show. Everybody. We love. Let's tidbits. give it up. Let's give it Genius up. Genius Bar, show. home of the tidbits. So. I'm really, I'm really just staring at my quality. It's really bringing me down. I just, I don't know how that this has happened. This is really heartbreaking. It's because of your attitude. You, <laughs> yeah, you think, get the resolution that matches your attitude. In I this, have to in this smile. Podcast, yeah. <laughs> just bring the energy up, and the the quality will go up. I think. Yay! Is it uh, actually also? Working? No, it's not. I don't know. I thought it was. It's. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, my point with this situation is, you made a video, okay? I did, and do I that. and I made a twit. I made an X yeah, about you this. You did do that. Let me share my screen real quick so you can see what I said. Everybody, you, I you share it. It's a screenshot of John's video called "No One Cares About Apple Vision Pro." Yes, with a reused thumbnail from two months ago. Okay, uh, first of all, <laughs> that was I'm the first thing right I noticed because I know you. It's not uh, reused. It's, it's the a, same image. You are a you are a motherfucker. <laughs> it's not my. Ha I have a haircut in that. I am not wearing. The, I'm wearing the same hoodie as in the episode. Uh, what I, have I reused a concept that I have used in the past? Possibly. <laughs> who knows? Who but knows? Who's it keeping worked. track anyway? Okay. So you said your thumbnail says no one cares about Apple Vision Pro. It says no one cares. Honestly, it's a great thumbnail. I said. Maybe the worst Vision Pro take I've seen yet. People seem to have thoughts about this. You know, a lot of people seem to agree or disagree with both of us. Yeah, you skipped and, my reply. Oh, oh yeah. Then so which then was, you, which was your videos about Vision Pro that get that got no views because it's about Vision Pro. Yeah, that was your argument, right? That's clearly inaccurate. But you seem to suggest, oh, hey, look, I did better than you on my Vision Pro video, which I would actually argue feeds into how much people are excited for it. People want to learn every little tidbit about this product. That's why they clicked on your video. So you saying no one cares about Apple Vision Pro, like, that doesn't make sense. Because 150,000 people... I can't. 100, look, John, look I, at me. I, 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 150,000 people don't click on something they don't care about. What I might do... <laughs> what I might do is uh, go to Goodwill... Mm -hmm. buy a lava lamp, Yum. plug it in at my house, get it nice and warm, make the bubblies bubble, and then drink it. I mm. might just drink... You make me want to feel the pain of drinking a lava lamp. It Sometimes I feel like that would be better than arguing with you. 
And do you see how the quality has improved because the connection? No- oh, it just tanked again. Well, the connection knows that I'm trending upwards. I think yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I did not make that video. No, 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 no. My example of it's not just like, well, my my video did better than yours. I targeted a a more curious audience. Is all I did with that video. I just okay so. I, I'm just confused because I feel like people care a lot about Vision Pro. Obviously, I've got some bias because I care a lot about it. But I, I care also a lot just about have it like, too. I pre-ordered one just like you. Well, I pre-ordered one. One, one unit. Yeah, I did too. Sam pre-ordered like Why? five goddamn no, Vision Pro. No. This man is so worried. About anything going wrong on recording day. Oh, what if it doesn't turn on? What if it does? What if it's the wrong I color? Am, even though they is... only make one color of them. <laughs> He's got so many redundancy plans here, just in case one Vision Pro's fucked up, or the next one is, or maybe it's not the right size. Doesn't matter for Sam. He's got all the sizes. I want my Vision Pro! I'm so excited for it! And you hurt me when you make videos called No One Cares because I care! Uh, okay, but like, don't you... S- what, okay, what do you mean? What What was your... Because I remember in the video you said a couple things, but what was your evidence? You were like, nobody cares, and then you showed evidence. What was that evidence? Uh Oh, the evidence that I showed was like... uh. Po- like Vision Pro post content, so like let's say after after June, after Dub Dub, and everyone does their videos or whatever, it's like the people yeah. that get hands on, right? Those people did not get the same amount of traction or views, uh, as well as uh, like Google Trend stuff that I showed. But the video stemmed that you want to know how the video was made. Yeah, and it tells why. Th- this will tell you who I'm targeting, why I made the video. Uh, we just put out the Tim Cook documentary, right? Yeah. And that we just went, wow, look at what we're capable of doing. And then we have to go back to just making regular front page tech episodes. So like, yeah. okay, well, how do we do that? We can't just like make another iPhone 16 video right now. Like that's not something I want to do. And so we look at the news because I don't know if you know, but front page tech is a news show. And in the news was like, uh, it was all Vision Pro stuff, but I think the main thing that I wanted to cover was like that, uh, that Quo mentioned that they only made 60,000 to 80,000 units for launch. And I was like, okay, I guess that, that is a new story that I can cover. And then I was like, but how, when I'm thinking about a title or a thumbnail for that story, I'm like, there's no, there, no one's going to care. Like, this is not going to get the same amount of traction and velocity as a normal video. Why is that? So as a YouTuber doing my job, this is what I'm going to cover, and then I have this realization, huh, I feel like if I make this video, it's not going to do well, which causes me to ask myself, why isn't it going to do well? Why do I feel like, why am I not confident putting out a Vision Pro video? And for me, it's because outside of the very tight-knit niche Apple, Twitter, and YouTube crowd... There isn't large care for this product that would make that would help my video do well. There are people that are curious, but I think mostly there's a gray area that sits for Vision Pro. There's this confusion. There's like no there's so much uncertainty and unknown around Vision Pro right now and I think that's the audience that clicked on the video. Not a negative video like oh it, the only people it's 150 160,000 people that want Vision Pro to fail or it's 160,000 people that want to learn more details about how to set up Vision Pro. That's not it's just those I think that video did well because people also agree with that sentiment. They're like, "Huh, yeah, something is weird." I'm just saying the quiet part out loud. I'm translating their thoughts into words. That's such a that's a silly argument, you you silly, you silly little guy. You I think can't you're call being me a, silly. You can't call I me. I think a you're silly being silly guy. because okay, in your video you did some uh, little. You know, I listen. I get it. I've been working on a video recently where I want to pick a little details, but I noticed some of the things you picked. Like you showed basically that the pre-roll ad that Apple ran of the initial unveil had like what sixty million views. Yeah, I think it was like fifty-nine million or something. Yeah. And then you were like, look at the new 30-second ad that they haven't even ran as a pre-order. That, only, that doesn't even have a million yet. So nobody cares. See, nobody cares about Vision Pro. The, even if it had a million, do you realize the giant discrepancy between two, 2 million, 1 million, 
eight hundred thousand and fifty nine million. But they ran it as an ad. Exactly. They exactly. What do you, what are you sh- okay? Go on with your argument. What are you showing before I? The revive? fact that a guided tour of this product got three plus million views on trending shows that a general public cares. Like you cannot argue that being on trending at that many views in a day means that no one cares about it. I again the lava lamp thing. This video is posted on Apple's main YouTube channel with. 18 million subscribers. So on its own, it should get 3 million views. And not only that, but it's been posted on every tech blog. It's like the there was no other event. There was nothing. This is the only extra information exactly from Apple that we've that we've gotten. And it's hard to call it extra information, but it's like it's more transparent, I guess. Uh, I would hope I would hope that does 3 million views spread well, across okay. all the tech blogs and <laughs> the only extra information about it would be like it'd be like if they did another event about it i wouldn't be like oh wow look it only got three million views yeah you just can't make the argument now you can make the argument no one knows about vision pro no saying that like those people that I that watched my video, all I'm not the first person telling them about Vision Pro. We're going and assuming you at least know about it, and you're also worried or questioning or just wondering. That's all it is. I and I didn't even give a theory in that video to say it. No one cares because it's bad. In fact, I say I'm going to pre-order it. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be the most technologically impressive thing I've ever experienced. But there's obviously a a, a large subset of people that tend to share this curiosity we you agreed with me last week when we talked about how freaky and weird apple is being about (laughs) launch and at first i was already i was already worried as it was i at least i'm being consistent i was already worried as it was but i let well myself and others tell me you know it'll be fine because there's going to be another event we all assume hopefully another event in January. And then, you know, it won't matter so much that they didn't stick the landing at WWDC because now they're going to, or they'll tell us more. Not only have they not told us more, but like they've just opened up more questions and been even weirder. Wait, what questions do you still have about Vision Pro? I feel like literally I th- th- this video, the tech specs being revealed, the pre-order, every, everything is there. Th- this but, was no, it's the like, second event. No, but it's like, wh- but why do they do it on pre-order day? I don't and know. This I'm is not Apple. The only but they're a pretty smart wa- company. The only people watching this, exactly. The only people watching this are the people that are, that that are interested in purchasing Vision Pro. Exactly. Like, so they did their job. What do you mean? That's not no 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 no. The number of people interested in buying Vision Pro right now is a lot smaller than the number it's gonna have to be for this to be a success. They've gotta they've gotta tell more new people about Vision Pro is my argument. And I don't think they know how. That's what I'm worried mm. about. Like, mm. like you don't think things are weird? Like, have you, all the PR images of Marquez and everyone that got a third try. So a bunch of a bunch of people that have been able mm. to get hands-on. We hands should talk on, about that. Yeah. People that have been able to get hands-on with Vision Pro have now got a third opportunity to try it on just before pre-orders, like a few days before pre-orders. So they could all share pre r images on, on across Twitter and stuff so you can see all your favorite YouTubers and stuff wearing Vision Pro. Uh, during that third promo, though, it is... Or, sorry, demo. For the people, it was the exact same demo that they got at WWDC. So for, this, for these people, they've gotten the same exact demo, 30-minute demo, each time. No new information, nothing new, just a c- continued same demo. And in all these pictures... Sam mentioned this to me yesterday. They're all taken at a specific angle, like the pictures of Marquez and stuff, and they're not they're they're, they're conveniently leaving a certain thing out or hiding a certain thing. And th- it, luckily here, I, uh, sorry, audio listeners, very sorry, but oh, uh, you can see it in the corner. Oh, there's the battery pack. Yeah, they messed up. <laughs> you, you'll see. You'll see that uh, in Marquez's. Uh, where's Marquez? Go to Marquez's picture. It's like a uh, that. There's a good one. There's a good one. There's a good one. Like. For the most part, they're hiding the cable, and they do this yeah. too in, in their own PR images or videos. They hide the cable behind their shoulder. Uh, and I was I was literally talking to my brother today because he asked about the battery pack because he was like, 
should, he wanted to know if he should get a Vision Pro to get through like a four hour flight. And I was like, it doesn't last four hours. Now he's a very like mainstream regular consumer, and he all he knows is what he and his friends talk about at work. And this is what he and his friends think is going on. They thought it's like Quest with a battery in it, and it lasts like four hours because it's Apple. Why wouldn't it last longer? And when I told him, oh no no no, the battery only lasts two hours, and it's a and it it's a battery pack. Because he was like, oh can I just buy the battery pack to extend it? I was like, no no no, that is the battery. The battery pack is the battery. It has mm. to be plugged into the battery. That only lasts two hours. The battery pack is $200. Uh, and he just, he didn't even know. He had never, I sent him a picture of what it looks like with the cord on the other side, and he had literally never seen it like that. He did not know that there was a cord plugged in. I, see, I would almost say that your brother, a regular person, like even having interest in this means that Apple's fine. What do you mean? Because he's, he's a regular, a, he's, he's a, a regular re guy. No, no, no. He's a regular person that is in the Apple ecosystem, he's, he's interested enough. He's one of those people that's like, he's always going to have an iPhone, nothing else. It's not like he's one of those like, I'll just use whatever phone. He's, all, he's always using an iPhone and stuff like that. So obviously he's heard of and knows about Vision Pro, but he it's it's not even on his radar. Like he doesn't, un they have not translated anything well enough for someone like him to understand it. And that's the, that's the challenge. My, I'm wondering if the, my biggest fear my, like the worst case scenario here is that it's not actually Apple's fault. That it's the concept itself that is going to mm. continue to be too foreign or it, it's just not going to make sense in, in like a regular consumer's life. That's what I'm worried about. Like, is that why, is that why we're not seeing anymore? Is, is it because they don't have any more to show us? They don't know what else to show us? Is it going to be up to developers to completely turn the ship around and, and give people a reason to put on Vision Pro because the native apps, what I'm worried about is the tech, technological feat that is Vision Pro is going to be like a honeymoon phase at best. You're going to put it on, go, wow, this is, the, this is a crazy high-fidelity experience. It's very intuitive. I, like, I personally can't wait for it to read my eyes. To know where I'm looking, that just sounds insane, insane to me. Yeah, yeah. So for and for people to say that that's like seamless and it just works extremely well, like that's something that can't be buggy at all. And to know that it's intuitive and smooth and just works like that sounds incredible. And I'm excited to go through all of their native apps and explore. But after I'm done exploring and that has worn off, what's gonna? My worry is what happens three weeks after everyone has Vision Pro. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I that's that's something I've thought about too, but I I feel like you and a lot of people cuz this is a sentiment I've seen like a lot. Like I'm not saying you're the first person to be like nobody cares about Vision Pro or Vi but I, I feel like there's a hint of like Vision Pro's dumb or Vision Pro's bad, which is okay, by the way. Like anybody that feels I'm not saying that you feel like that, but I'm saying that I I sort of have lumped in this video of you as like I don't know about Vision Pro. Seems kind of sketch. Which I would say that is kind of where you're at. It's weird. It's like Vision Pro and the idea of Vision Pro isn't sketch to me. Like I understand it. I'm I've already been wrong about this once. So who this could be my second time in a row. <laughs> I don't know. But I for like years was like, this is the next iPhone moment. This is mm. gonna change everything. I was hyping this thing up, and then the day it dropped, I'm like, wait, that's not. That's not what I thought was going to happen. And I've been consistent since that day. I feel like it would be fucked up of me to have changed my perspective when literally no new information has come out. Nothing has changed. So I disagree, for, though. I feel like we have gotten new info. We've got a lot of new info in this past week. The, we, know, uh, we know the exact uh, screen specs. We know the exact But that weight. is meaningless. Know, that means nothing. The exact screen specs mean nothing when we were already told it's like indistinguishable from real life. Crazy high fidelity. That doesn't. Yeah, I, there's no numbers that are going to make that amount of clarity make sense to me. I'm not going to hear the resolution and go, "Wow, I can visualize that." Because I can't. I've never done that before. I have to wait yeah. till I actually have it on. Sure. I mean, I'm like the guy. Did you watch the guided tour video? Yes. Great. Video. Sick. Right. Um. Here, let me. Here makes me very. So, it, I'm already excited. It makes me very excited to try it. Yeah, like this video that Apple posted, which you guys could see here, gave us new shots of the product. Like this is what I mean when I say it was a second event. And like in this video, they show us 
Like just, I mean, it's obviously kind of cheesed up. Like these are obviously actors that they kind of try to make feel like regular, oh, regular yeah. people. But John, to me, I feel like she nailed, like for a general, people like your brother, I feel like she nailed, in this video nailed. I, I agree. I agree. But my brother's not, my brother has no fucking idea that video exists. Somebody like me would have to send him that video because it's positioned as like a user manual. Yeah. Like it's, it's not like a, it's not, it, this is not an event. This is not an announcement. This is not them reaching out to regular people and trying to help them understand. This is a guided tour. It's like a user, it's like a user manual and to teach people how to use it that have already purchased it. I'm sure they'll be able to find it better once they actually have the thing. But how do you get the people to buy the thing in the first place? Which that's what worries me. Exactly. They're not going to do that this year. This is vision. I, I think you're looking at Vision Pro as the original iPhone. And that is not what this thing is. Because the original iPhone was $500. Mm -hmm. This is seven times the price of the original iPhone. No, no, that no. means I, I know. you need to be seven times as wealthy. I know. This is, I, I'm, <laughs> this is all stuff that we didn't know, though. Like, until closer to launch, we had no idea what the price was. We were yeah, just like, the, the we're just, I, I, again, I said I was already wrong about that. Assuming this is the iPhone moment is was incorrect. If yeah. anything, it's closer to the first Mac moment. The difference yeah. is this company isn't scrounging to put parts together and just get something off the ground. This is a $3 trillion company with all the time in the world and all the resources in the world to get this right. And it feels like either they launched it too early, like if we're going to make the excuse for them that, oh, they could only physically make sixty to 80000 Okay. Sure. Start a month earlier in mass production. Start start in June. Like, don't announce it in June if it's not ready. If you're only going to be able to launch with 80,000 units, maybe it's not ready. What was more likely to me is that's all they're comfortable with releasing. Like, they could theoretically make, let's say we're hoping for a million sales these, this year, which to mm -hmm. me, that sounds reasonable in a year. Mm -hmm. Uh Let's say they make all 1 million of them uh, and they restrict sales on the website to 100K. That only, does, that only helps front-facing perspective. They've also got to convince shareholders that demand is high. And I think demand at launch is accurately right around 60 to 80,000 people. That's what that I could be wrong. I'm not a, I'm not behind the scenes. I don't fucking know. But I think that they knowingly made 60 to 80,000 units because to shareholders and to us this has to look like a regular traditional Apple launch. When Apple launches a pre-order for anything, iPhone whatever, well, it's the same story. Hurry up, wake up early and then soon after dates start slipping. How do we maintain that that appearance with Vision Pro. Let's only make six, 60 to 80,000 of them. They'll appear to sell out very quick. Consumers see high demand. More importantly, our shareholders see high demand. And that's just what this, that's what this feels like right now. I, but Apple doesn't report individual like iPhone sales numbers, do they? No, they don't. No, they don't. So that that's what I like. I mean, the, this is going to be grouped into wearables. They don't no, revenue. they don't publicly state numbers. No. All we all all we know is market analysis, which is where every high value stock company that's how they make their money. That's where like uh, somebody like Dan Ives from Wedbush comes into play. Yeah. Even Quo, Quo Ming Chi is a market analysis. That's what he's doing. He's helping the stock market. By by he's not fucking giving us Twitter and YouTube content. <laughs> like this yeah. man gets paid to know this stuff to facilitate right, we do appreciate fluctuation. It, yeah. So yeah, we love we love quote Ming Chi. Well, that's here. what I'm I'm sort of saying that to highlight. Like I think that you saying that doesn't make much sense to me because like even let's say Vision Pro undersold in units. Like if Apple wanted to, they could artificially restrict it to make it publicly look good. But like shareholders don't know this either way. The only people that would know physical numbers are probably the board. Yeah, like but if, Qu if Quo Ming Chi, if Quo Ming Chi puts out a story, there's a million made. Yeah. Like shareholders are gonna see revenue that's supposed to reflect that. They are spending their money for these things to be made. 
Yes, so but isn't to, to, so to say, hey, we've spent this. They they don't they don't say units. They might not say units, but they have to be transparent. And say, hey, we spent the money here. If the if the money doesn't add up to what actually sold, th- that's like there's no there's no way around that. There's a huge discrepancy between eighty thousand units at thirty five hundred dollars and one million units at thirty five hundred dollars and. This is like, I guess we haven't even dived into this. Dove? Divin? Dovin? Dove. Dove. We haven't dove. That still doesn't. We haven't talked about this yet. <laughs> but do we, I guess we're going to have to find out more once uh, people have it and like I fix it can do a teardown and all that other stuff. The parts for this thing have to be insane. Like, have you seen that on the website? Uh, yes. Like, if you don't have Apple Care. Yeah. It kind of tells you roughly what how much things are going to cost to fix. It is, I mean, it's just ungodly amounts of money after spending thirty five hundred dollars. Like if you break the front glass, which is going to be the most common, yeah, it's like it's like seven hundred eight hundred dollars just for that, just for the front glass. Yeah, dude, it's uh, it's really bad. So yeah, that's they not say- the, that's not even the displays. Like what? I'm so curious how much this costs. Like what? They they can't. This can't be marked up that much. Yeah, it's uh, well, gosh, there's so many things that you said that I feel like I have retorts for. Like, yeah, it's not marked up. Like, even if Apple sold out a million, let, let's say that according to you, Apple made a million units. They sold a million units on day one. It's literally, uh-huh. it just says unavailable on the website after day one because it's <laughs> okay. such a resounding ex- success. Yeah. Even if Apple sold every single Vision Pro, a million units, they they planned out production. They did the John Prosser plan. <laughs> that's like a couple billion dollars for Apple. Like at the end of the day, I think so it's, many people no, are, it's not are looking just... at this product like iPhone sales plummet as Vision Pro is now Apple's. Like the iPhone is 50% of Apple's revenue. Vision Pro, if it even got to 1% of Apple's revenue, I think that would be a success financially. Because like, I guess I just feel like everyone's forgetting how expensive this thing is. Like, of course, it's not probably going to sell out every single unit, even at 80,000. But it's also only available in the US. We have literally zero idea of global demand for this. We know. There are 300 million in the US and 7 to 8 billion people in the world. But, but it's but that's the whole thing. That's why they that's why you do this initial launch. Th- they don't even know how many to make for a global. They don't know the demand. This is them figuring out the demand. It's not about making a quick 2 billion dollars. Like even if they made the million like you said and two you're right. That amount of money is insignificant through to a three trillion dollar company. What yeah. is more important is the data collected there. There's a there's a massive difference in the potential of a product line if you see demand for eighty thousand units or see demand for eight for one million in a day. Sure. That tells you uh, that tells you a much different layered story. That's all that's all all I'm saying. Is there a question that why is it me, a full time YouTuber, had a even I might have been wrong? Who knows? Maybe I put that, maybe I put that video out about uh, maybe I titled it like Apple Vision Pro, good news or something like that. I don't know, just one of those. And, I, and then I fucking talk about it. I'm that video might have done well, but why is it that when I thought about doing that video, I hesitated and and it wasn't a sure thing? Like, why am I? Why, for my business, did I feel like it was a bad idea to put out a video about Vision Pro like that? The I video think it's did the video did saying the video did well and that somehow disproves my point. To me, it did exactly what I hoped it would do. I made a video to get Vision Pro in front of a certain audience, and there's only a way to there, this was the way to reach that audience, the people that are in a gray area about Vision Pro, and it seems to be quite a lot of people that don't know how to feel about Vision Pro. Now, I don't know why. I don't have my own theory. But it could go in two different directions. Either this is Apple's fault for missing the missing the mark on how to translate this experience and what the future of mixed reality is. Or, or it's the concept itself that is too foreign. 
And that is the that that's the worrying part because if it's on Apple, they can make adjustments and fix it. If it's just the concept alone, the only thing that can fix that is more time, different form factors. Like there's a there's a long way to go. And to me, this is just a very high quality version of what is already on the market. Or instead of mm. completely reinventing it. Like they usually do. That's so interesting. I mean, yeah, I've said this every day for the past nine months. I think you're wrong. I, okay, I really do. And that's okay. Uh, and I I feel like you're coming at this from like a damned if Apple does, damned if they don't situation. Like I just, I feel like nothing that I've said or suggested or, or counterpoint, like nothing has made you happy. I guess I don't really know what you want. Because I actually believe this. Like you can't talk me out of, this is like, all the things that you're saying, I've already internally considered, and I've come sure. up with this conclusion. And like, I would, I would be very impressed if you said one thing that made me go, "Oh wait," and just like unwrapped all, all of what I thought already. I uh, all I know is, uh, Apple's being weird about it. They don't seem extremely confident in it. There are things about Vision Pro that they are unproud of and that they hide, like the battery, That's and it's weird. True. It's also slightly offensive. The th Like, things that they do, like, they, this is not, it's not exclusive to Vision Pro because they've done stuff like this before, but not saying a word about things like weight and accessories and stuff until you are there with your wallet and you, you're stressing out about a pre-order. Like, there are people that would not make the same decisions that they made checking in, in checkout if they just had more time. But everyone's panicking and they're like, oh, I, well, yeah, of course I want the travel case. And then they don't realize until after the travel case is fucking $200. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that this. is ridiculous sick. and offensive to do that. No, nah, this For, is sick, At dude. minimum, it, it's a cool case. Not going to lie. Dude, it's so cool. Look, it's, it looks like a space case. But people Sam, have been speculating agree, there could it should be come in the fucking box. Yes, it should come in the box, but the problem is I think it costs it's too much to It's $800 to fix the screen. And the problem... <sighs> okay, yeah, sure. That costs a lot to, ma to manufacture. This fucking zip-up travel no, case nothing, is like nothing $2. For them. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think you're looking at this from Apple needed to come out with Apple Glass on day one. No, I'm not at that's all. That's what In it fact, feels that's why like. I, I was telling people. I was telling people, like, vis this is the future. Before before we saw this, this yeah. is the future. This is we're eventually going to get to a much smaller form factor. Who knows? Down the road, that could mean just contact lenses. I don't know. We're we're yeah. in for quite the ride. But I'm all I can do is tell you my honest thoughts, and my honest thoughts are that they disappointed yeah. me with Gen One. Like I expected, I ex even if. Again, I don't actually... What's driving me crazy right now is there's so many yeah. people saying uh, that it's bad because. I didn't buy it because it's bad. I didn't buy it because... Like, I've heard people outright say it's nothing but a media device. A media consumption device. To those people, are you fucking high? Like... I, I wish. Th that I don't understand. Like, just... You, you, you don't want to spend $4,000 on it. That's the real answer, and that is understandable. What's not yeah. understandable is oh, I did buy it because it's going to be bad. You ha now, once you've said that, you're out of the conversation. You can't just assume bad, <laughs> like yeah. You, until listen, you actually try something, if, if you want to assume the next iPhone is bad because you un that's not a a crazy concept to you, you can understand, and that's a tangible idea for you that you can just sort of imagine the next iPhone. That's cool. But this is something that you have never experienced before. None of us have ever experienced before. And to just yeah. say that you didn't buy it because it's bad or because it's this and put a label on it is goofy. I don't know. I'm excited enough to try it for myself. That's why I'm super pumped about my pre-order. Uh, I was just hoping that Apple would do a better job of telling us how and why AR is the future. I, I feel it is, but I can't put those feelings into words. That's Apple's job or a company like Apple's job to do. And they didn't, I feel like they didn't do that. I feel like Apple knows the product is not there for a mass market yet. 
So Apple sees no need for this first-gen product to do so. And I think Apple would be wasting their money marketing to people like your brother, people to like my mom and dad for a product that is literally unaffordable and unobtainable to convince them on a concept that isn't actually real yet for them. So Apple's taking these first-gen, second-gen, third-gen. They're going to get it down. It's going to weigh half of what it does in three years. And all of a sudden, Apple's going to be hitting everybody with this. The people like us already know about it. And the plan works. That's my theory. I just, I, I, the more I've thought about this, cause I was with you last week where I was like, this is weird. Why are they, why are they like doing these controlled things? And what Apple is one of the most intelligent companies in the world. I don't own a $3 trillion business. I know front page tech does better than me, but I would say it's slightly less than three trill. Maybe yeah, just under okay. that three maybe trillion just, Yeah. Just at like 2.8. I know. So <laughs> yeah. you guys are right up there. I'm more of like a one, I'm, I'm more of like a zero point zero repeating, and then a one at the end trill. Okay, gotcha. Which is probably right. still like 10 times what I actually do. It, <laughs> yeah. Which is, you know, not million, well, not even Yeah, we're not good at math Not either. even close. Anyway. I just, yeah, I, 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 but I think that's it, the I think thing. it adds like, up. That's the I, easiest thing to say though, Sam, because of course that's the plan. Of course it's going to, like, there's no, unless something catastrophic happens, Apple ain't that guy. Apple is not that company. It's not, it's, once it's out the door, it can't be air power. Like, yeah, they have too much money, too many talented people, and too many resources for this to fail. Eventually, this project is going to click and work. In five years' time, it is not going to look like it does now. On so many levels, not just physically, but. Yeah. The, the, I hate to say this, the vision of, of this, like, project on its own will be different yeah. in five years. I have no doubt about that. I'm not worried that oh, it's going to crash and burn, and then this, then there's no more Vision Pro. It's going to keep going. Okay. My issue is that they they had one opportunity to announce this for the first. I keep saying this. They had one opportunity to announce this for the first time, and I feel like they they dropped the ball on that. And uh, yeah, just it just feels like. Like I've heard you refer to uh, maybe it was like private text messages, uh, refer to it as like a dev unit or something. But like yeah. with with the with with Apple Silicon, they were ready, come dub dub. Du they're talking to developers. By the way, developers, you can start working with this right now to to get ready for for launch. Here's a thrown together Mac Mini. It's like held together with chewed up bubble gum and Elmer's glue, uh, but it's got Apple Silicon in there. Five hundred bucks out the door. You can buy right now. That's not what happened with Vision Pro. They, this isn't a developer unit. This isn't just for devs. They did their announcement at WWDC, and this got a full market wide launch. To say that they didn't put that they waste money if they advertise it to regular people, they've done exactly that. They put uh, who knows how much money behind the introducing video in June to get 59 yeah, million, million views. That's yeah. an insane... That's not coming to just Sam Cole and John Prosser on YouTube watching no. our little YouTube videos. That's going to everybody. Tim Cook's trip to Good Morning America is also to everybody. Like, these are to regular people. And... I, I almost wish... I, it just clicked in my head. I almost wish that they would... That they had played that entire... Uh, what is it? Guide Division Pro, Guided yeah. Tour, whatever. I wish they would have just sh shut up and just played that at the event. Like if they if they would rename that or if they could have if they would market that, like put ad ad money behind that and, and put retitle that video to make it less sound like a user manual and put money behind that. Like that does a that, being able to show people like that does a great job of translating how incredible it is. The pr the price point is only one of the bottlenecks. Like I, I, I wish I could say that my theory is only that it's very expensive. Dude, that was like the top comment on your video. Is people are like, no, yeah, no, it's just no, too expensive. Th <laughs> sure, a couple people in the comments saying that. I'm saying my theory. I'm saying I I can't call. Here's here's the thing about John Prosser. Yeah. Hey Sam, it's the new year. Did you know what? What man. It takes about an average of 30 days for a person to break their beautiful new New Year's resolution. 
So that's if saving really money was one of your resolutions, usually it's for everyone. If that's on your 24, 2024 list, uh, guess what? Odds are not looking great. Luckily, no. I have a 100%, not, not often we can say this, but I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you and our fans money this year, and that is just a simple switch to Mint Mobile. Today's what? sponsor. Yay, we love Mint Mobile. And Dude. listen, which you are listening because it's a podcast. For a limited time, a wireless plans for Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. How do you get it for just $15 a month, Sam? Well, that's when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data, John, for 15 bucks a month. They're that's here to crazy. rescue you with premium wireless plans that, again, are just 15 bucks a month. So say bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye <laughs> to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected charges. Like when I was traveling abroad recently, I got a bunch of really, really fun charges. Oh, you know how what? great. <laughs> I love Mint Mobile because it's on the nation's largest 5G network. They come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data. Did he say the smallest? No, I said the biggest, John. I don't know if you heard me. Did he say the middest? I did not. I actually said the largest 5G network. Wow, that's crazy. (laughs) Guys, listen. To get this new customer offer and your new free month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash genius. That's mintmobile.com slash genius. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash genius. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Thank you, Mint Mobile. (laughs) This is you questioning me like this is my karma. Yeah. Because for years, for a long time, my shtick was to go with a gut feeling that I have on a fucking Tuesday night and just say it on YouTube. Vitamin in hand. Yeah, <laughs> just say it on YouTube as a fact. Mm-hmm. That is, that like, is when I look back you. at some stuff like that, I just cringe so hard because I didn't. Yeah. I actually believed that I knew what I was saying. Hmm. The older, more mature version of me. Yeah, geriatric. Yeah, has le- le- <laughs> less less mobility means less ego, and so <laughs> and so I am like, I'm willing more to admit that I'm naive, and that's yeah. all I'm doing here is like I, you might be right, the the top comment on my video might be right, but I am not convinced enough for me to say it on my platform. There's a reason that yeah. commenter isn't making that video. Uh, I'm making that video. I can only say what I think, and if I. And I'm turning a new leaf. If I can't confidently tell you that I know, then I should just not pretend like I know. Yeah, I... Do you recognize that in your videos how when you're like, people don't care about Vision Pro is completely different than I still don't know about Apple Vision Pro. And I get you have to title things like that for YouTube, but like... you. In the video, you're like, oh, look, these views not doing good. I don't know. Oh, they missed the landing. I don't know. Like, you're not saying, look at this no, no, incredible no. technology. I'm, yeah, I you do say, say I'm going to buy I, it. I, <laughs> you say I'm going to oh buy it, but then you follow up with Sam. like, but I don't know. Like, Sam, and I I'm know, not, that, listen, I, listen, I know that that's how you feel. To be clear, I know that you actually don't know. I'm just saying when you package uh, it that way, you get my little claws on the YouTube and then I tweet no, things like this is the worst Vision Pro take I've seen. I, I'm saying as a person that has done this for a long time and as yeah. someone whose voice is respected by tens of people. <laughs> I'm one of them, by the way. Yeah. I'm I ha- it feels, all the evidence that we have until six months from now or like when someone gives us consumer data, all of this is anecdotal. All of this is swayed and flawed somehow. You can show me a Marquez video. You can show me whatever. That's still only talking about our demographic. That's that's we're so small. We're like the dust in the universe. Like we we, we this we mean nothing. We are the eighty thousand people buying Vision Pro. We mean nothing to traditional society, and that is who Apple's customer <laughs> is. We're meaningless. Uh, we are. <laughs> But we're not. We, yeah, we mean nothing. I, okay, th- this is a if narrative. Someone wa- that- if someone wants, like, there are people that watch from page tech that see me after and go, like, people that I know or that are friends in real life or family that go, I have, I don't know what you said. Like, yes, it's me. It's me. It's mom, all fucking every video. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just noises. Dude. That's not a joke. Yeah. Yeah, Apple Apple is one of those companies that has transcended that. They have put a voice with technology. They've made it human. That is why Apple is the most successful tech company on the planet. That's why they're $3 trillion. That is what separates them from every other tech company that's regurgitating the specs. Because That's yeah. why they don't tell you the specs half the time because it doesn't matter. matter. It's noises. They have to translate the noise into actual feelings for humans, and they didn't do that in this case. If mm. At least it feels it feels like they didn't to me. That's how you feel. Yes. Yeah. We've okay. had we've had I've had so many friends in the industry that work on the big tech blogs reach out to me privately, a couple like publicly, but mostly privately, who have said, like they've covered this for fifteen years on a website dedicated to hardcore fanship about this exact company, and not just one video did well on all of their posts, like. It's trending downwards every, every time they talk about Vision Pro. They don't know why either. I just want to know why that is. Like, it's not in it for me to just hope that, like, I don't want Vision Pro to fail. If I'm right about no one caring, I'm going to be able to post one more video that goes, yeah. ha ha, told you so, I was right. Yeah. Make 10 bucks off that video, and then what? Go back to iPhone 16 stuff. I want yeah. this to do well. I want to be able to make years of, of vision project content. And right now, their newest product, I feel like I can't sustainably make content about because not enough people understand it. And it's not my job to make them understand mm. it. People aren't going to watch. People don't watch me to understand. That's such an interesting view. That's my vision. Pro. Yeah. That's my vision, bro. <laughs> we, we okay, yeah. We should talk about. Well, let, let's not be let's not be too much like a wheel here and be circular. But hey, I appreciate you explaining your take, and uh, you're gonna be wrong and eat shit. And I'm gonna be laughing and dancing <laughs> on that video in a that's, couple months. But hey, that's okay. That's, that's fine. Okay. Why don't you make a video called "I'm"? Uh, this is why I'm excited about Vision Pro, dude. Because no one's clicking on that video. I rest my case, everybody. Okay, uh, okay, John. Okay, no, no, no. I have to do one more counter now that you pulled that card. I rest card. my case. All right, everybody in the comments. Maybe you've been on John's side so far. Maybe you've been on mine. I'm, fa I'm so excited to read the comments of this episode. I think they're going to be so... Does yeah. everybody in the comments think why the iPhone 15 Pro is awesome or why the iPhone 15 Pro sucks would do better? <laughs> which, which title That's and not thumbnail do we think would do better? The, the video is not titled Vision Pro Sucks. <laughs> like, this is okay. not... John, I need, I need I to be clear a video... Then, I, I need to be clear. <laughs> what we've seen and what you and I have been doing is, uh, especially for our audience, maybe, okay, I'll give you it if it's like, if we have 10 subscribers and we're trying to reach a new audience, a negative Apple video en masse will likely do better. But with our audience... Negative videos don't actually tend to do better. In fact, I've I've started to like smile more because a good happy expression makes people click more. I'm no one's making it just to be negative. My uh, why is no one clicking on your video that where you're excited about Vision Pro? I people aren't clicking on that video because I don't have it yet, and people only want to hear something negative about the video. Is new. not Vision Pro is great because I tried it. It's why I'm excited about Vision Pro. You're taking you're you're in the same spot as literally everybody else right now. Yeah, if but, anything, before they try it, they would be more curious. Yes, but how do I explain this? Why don't you make a TikTok? That that was a June thing. What do you mean it's a June thing? It's about to be tangible now. Why I'm excited for Vision Pro was a June thing. It's the no. the Vision Pro as a concept is old news. People no, want it's, to see it's it. It's tangible. Or they now. want to. You notice you notice how people like the announcement happened. Okay, spike, and then it yeah. goes way, way, way down. And then when we get closer to iPhone stuff, it starts going up. That's because yeah. it's about to be tangible. We're in that right now. Right now, it's right now. More people should be caring because we're about to actually have it. It's and not they just do. They care about it, but they don't want to hear. The people that care are already excited about the product, so they're not going to click on a video. Exactly. Called okay. Why I'm you just said what you just said. The people that are going to care. We need more than just the people that are going to care by default. I not for this product. Not okay, for Gen okay, 1. I see. I see. We just disagree. I, I, yeah. Apple is, but Apple you see is what I'm saying? A, yeah. Apple's not a small little 
niche company. No. For them to put but this, this much R and D into something, they're 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 not. They got to reach traditional Apple people eventually, and there's Tradi- not even. Yes, they will. But traditional Apple people don't have thirty five hundred dollars. Okay, traditional people buy thirty five hundred dollars worth of Apple stuff all the time. No, 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 they don't. They're. Do, do you? God, this is okay. People is this spend different- ungodly amounts of money on MacBooks. Vision Pro, exactly like it is right now. It's nine ninety nine. Does any of your beliefs change if interest is like like? Because I'm telling you for a fact, if this is nine ninety nine. The same price as an iPhone 15 Pro. This thing, Apple could not make enough of these to get them out the door because the demand would be so high. Like, I feel like for you, you're not contextualizing. $3,500 is an, in, like the average American salary. No, that is an insane amount of money. That's, but Sam, oh, there, all I'm saying is there aren't just 80,000 people that are willing to spend money on a $3,500 Apple product. 80, 000, well over 80,000 people have pre-ordered a more expensive Mac on day one. It's not the price that is the complete bottleneck. That's one of the bottlenecks. Price on anything is going to be one of the bottlenecks. We are fucking ridiculous. We are... We, yes, we're blessed and lucky to be able to afford it. Yeah, like... Uh, not only that, but we're we're able to spend this money on something we don't even know anything about, really. Like, but we, we do know. hang hang on. <laughs> but you don't you don't actually know if in four weeks you're going to be using it every day. You don't it's know less than two weeks. I'm you so don't excited. you don't know what like your day to day is going to look like. Uh, but you uh, t- but you're excited you're excited for the potential and you're willing to take that chance and it's easy for us because we just that's we're going to do that anyway. But there's a disconnect somewhere. There's there's the people there's the people that literally don't have the four thousand dollars to spend. Okay, they are excused. They don't even don't feel responsible for this conversation. Then there are the people that have the four thousand dollars to spend, but it's not as easy as like our decision to do it. So they have to think about it more. And when they think about it, there's something stopping them from taking the same risk. I want to know what that something is. I want to explore what that something is. That's all I'm saying. I don't I'm curious what what the disconnect is on a human level between this product and the person that has four thousand dollars but eh, not quite it's ready f- to sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I no, apologize. you're fine. Go ahead. No, I, no, I my like point is that. like complete, I guess. No, I hear I, I see how you're saying that. I absolutely I also- agree that the price is a bottleneck. I'm just okay, arguing cool. that there's a human bottleneck somewhere. There's a disconnect. Mm. People and I don't ju- get it because Apple bog- boggled the launch. It goes back. I, it's yeah. yeah, it's hard. It's hard to like trans. It's. I wish I could just for a second, just like uh, transport this feeling that I that I have. Like it no, just no. feels off, and that's that all I video, can say as a person. No, I. You've trans. I'm confused as to why you're confused. <laughs> You've given me the feeling. I don't okay. want this. I'd like to go <laughs> back to 240p. I feel like we're we we're at the same spot. You're just Sam and I'm just John. You're looking this way and I'm looking this way. When we're yeah. we're still confused and worried about the same things kind of. Well, I'm but you're not just really more optimistic. confused and worried. I I was confused and worried before I saw this introduction video a week ago. And now that I've seen price, weight, exact specs and what you can do with this on day 1, I do not feel confused at all. Can I, I ask it you is a question? Clear. Yeah. What do the specs have anything to do with like changing how you feel about it? I know exactly what it weighs. I know exactly what technology is inside. Thank you, FaceTime. Like here, let's, let's go ahead and look at everything. But do we? Like that's what I'm. That okay. Yes! This is like this is kind of a separate argument. <laughs> okay. Uh, the weight you can contextualize because we have a quest. It's a little bit heavier yes. than a quest, and we know what a one like one pound feels like. And that scares uh, me. Yeah, that's a little. That is a little worrisome. But these numbers, Sam, to us, even to us, mean. Nothing. You can't contextualize what a 4K OLED display looks like right here. That's well, insane. You, I think you like, can see we that for you. We already know what it's going to look like. But we already the, know that the fidelity is is crazy. That's kind of the the limit of our imagination. That it's going to be indistinguishable. Okay. What do the numbers change about already knowing that it's in, indistinguishable from life? Seeing the exact shipping shipping product, like but that's have you what ever changes seen a resolution like that? Up to you, you, like you don't have any context for what that feels like. 
No, but I like to see that it's a hundred Hertz. Like as a tech person, I care about this. I like to see that there's the chip specs. Like we, we didn't know what type of M2. We know it's a slightly above base spec. We know about storage, right? But we don't even, there's, we still, as a person, you and I understand what 256 gigabytes of storage is like. We understand what 512 is like. We understand what a terabyte is like. What we don't know is what that's like on Vision Pro. We don't know how far that gets us. We don't know what the currency is, basically, on Vision Pro. So we don't... Those numbers are still meaningless. Even the storage is meaningless. So to give me... It has 16 gigabytes of unified memory. Okay. Well, that doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know how much it, it needs. I, it does, though, because you I know... I don't know how much it needs. I don't know what it... I don't... <laughs> I don't... Like, it, you, 12 you would not be happy chip, if 12, Tim Cook showed up to your house and gave you a private demo and was like, here's a video of Django, your little Django. cute cat walking around with 16 different paws in the air. You'd be like, oh, well, I That's need 8K because it's not. That's, are, do you see what I'm saying? That's exactly what I want. I mean, not Tim Cook to come to my house personally. I want that. Personally. But I don't need you to tell. I don't. People don't need these numbers. They need to know what how I what know. that like the R1 chip 12, 12 millisecond photon to photon latency the fu- what that is that's meaningless to you Sam you can't tell me that no. you be, that you feel better now that you know that number you already knew the result is what I'm saying so who cares how we get there I'm not saying that 12 millisecond photon to photon latency makes me feel more comfortable on purchase. I'm saying things like the aperture of the camera. I know what a camera looks like. I know what millimeter length means. I'm saying that I know that seeing exactly what the sensors are and what they do, the fact that they've worked to compensate for a flicker sensor so that you're not seeing flashes of light in your eye, the fact that we've learned more about how the audio works, like this but we for already, me, we but already I'm not arguing it for everybody all else. Of these specs. I'm arguing that me, Sam Cole, seeing these specs insane. as a techie makes me more excited. And I think that's a fair, just as you feel confused seeing these specs, I think it's fair that I feel f- more focused and better, not only, again, not just seeing the specs, but seeing the specs in combination with the experience that I can expect in the video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like okay, and that's okay, and that's okay if you don't. No, no, that's that's fine. Fu- that's fu- I'm just saying, like that doesn't change anything about what we've seen. Like the end result is still incredible. We already knew all of this stuff is incredible. We knew all of it. Then what are you See? worried about? Uh, <laughs> what? Like, no, I'm you're, sa- you're like the specs don't mean anything. I, we it's know the same it's thing incredible. I've been saying. But I don't I know. Said to use it because it's going to be the most technologically impressive thing. That that's not enough. What happens three weeks after the incredibility of the of the tech specs wear off? When Apple announced this, did you see you yourself? Okay, before Apple announced this, did you expect using this product every single day? Uh, Apple's first VR AR headset. You wearing it every day? My, we don't even know what it's my, called or what it my, looks like. Probably would I probably at the time felt 50-50 on that because I didn't know. But like Apple showing us people living in this, they're they're not just like, oh, just put it on when you have something to do. They got it on. She's walking around. She's opening the fridge, getting stuff out of the fridge. She's organizing shoes. She's of sitting down watching a movie. She is. It only lasts two hours. But that, John, here's, okay. <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing, Sam. I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Oh, where's the lava lamp? Hey Siri, order seven lava lamps. Seven. Okay. One for each ball. I love my quest. I don't use my quest every day. In fact, I have to think about it. Like, I have to think. Quest is a VR headset for everybody that yeah, yeah the, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, the meta quest. Which, by the way, that's an incredible piece of technology. Like Meta gets it on a, on a, hang on. Meta no, gets it. No, no, no. It. I'm not interrupting. Okay. I'm just... <laughs> but your face interrupted. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Meta, Meta gets this concept on a different, on a human level that Apple doesn't yet. Like, how do I explain this? From a technological aspect, they have made VR look and feel more human. The eye tracking, the intuitive finger stuff, no controllers, the crazy high fidelity. They've removed that sort of barrier. But there's something with the marketing specifically that hasn't clicked. 
Like, Meta understands, okay, for the regular person, this is a standalone unit. Battery inside, you just buy this. Of course, I, I have a whole fucking thing that I, I built out, a whole different headband system. But it's all in one unit. For five hundred dollars, it puts me. It can put me somewhere else. Like walk about mini golf. If you haven't played that on Quest, uh, you got to do that. That it's incredible. If that yeah, was the only incredible. app, if you just bought this five hundred dollar unit, and that's the only thing it did. That would be so. That'd still be cool. Uh, so, and that experience like is not even going to be comparable to the fidelity of like Apple Vision Pro. But at the very most basic concept, it is the same. The Quest does it in a poorer resolution with much worse specs, much worse build quality, and less intuitive controls. But at the core, as a concept, it's the same thing. I I think I it might be my fault, but I was hoping that Apple would not just give us the same concept, but better. I wish they were showing us something new that we could do with AR and VR, and we haven't gotten there yet. My Quest though I love it, is not charged. In fact, I have to always remember to charge it because I'm like, Sam and I'll be like, hey, you want to do VR tonight? Yeah. Oh, fuck, my Quest isn't charged, so I guess I'll charge it. There's something about that. It's not, there's something about a tech product that you like, but and you just, we're surrounded by stuff that is prob- that we like that we wouldn't get rid of, but it's not charged. What's going to make this a... a a, on a different level is if I keep it charged on instinct. Like my Apple Watch is just always charged because it, I, it's it's an instinct to remember to charge this. I don't just have to charge it because I remembered to use it. It is always charged the same way I always keep my iPhone charged. If I can, if I want to keep Vision Pro always charged, like I think I have four separate batteries for my Quest. All of them are dead. I don't keep any of them charged. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah, if I if I keep at least one battery pack for Vision Pro charged on instinct and consistently, they've made a very compelling product, and I think that that will change how I how I think about this greatly. But I'm not going to know that until I try it. Hey, John, are you more of a yes guy or a no guy? I'm more of a yeah guy. Well, today you're going to be a no guy because this episode is sponsored so, by Notion. Oh, yes. That's, but I'm I saying, no. I'm saying yes to Notion in 2024, John. Do you know what this product is? Have you ever I, heard of it? I've heard a couple things. Like I've heard that it combines all of your notes, docs, and projects into one place. So it's like if you were on a trip like you were, uh, you might have used Notion to still handle your projects and your team from one place. John. When I was remote, when I was out the country, I had okay. all my docs, all my projects, everything in one space. My notes were there. I was able to send things back and forth between our agency that we work with for work, get some stuff done. And I had all of it in one centralized place that me and everybody on my team had access to. It was incredible. Yeah. Does it get better though? That sounds John, like I can, I can tell you good. it gets better. I thought you'd be sold already, but clearly you're not because here's the thing. I've also been using Notion AI, which is fully integrated to help me work faster, write better, and think bigger doing tasks. Think bigger? Hours in just seconds. Yeah, my brain... They had. They did That's not even need to do this. This is why I love Notion. Like they could have just been like every other company, incremental upgrades, updates here and there, just to keep you paying, just to keep you around. But not Notion. Notion just gave us a full AI assistant. And guess what? Remember how I say you could pay for it? Yeah. Well, did you know if you listen to or watch this show, you can try Notion for free when you go to Notion.com/slash/genius. That's the name of our show. Guys, that's all lowercase letters, notion.com slash genius to try the powerful, easy to use Notion AI today. And when you use our link, you're supporting my show, The Genius Bar. That's notion.com slash genius. Okay, but you should you should use my link and support my show, which is notion.com slash genius. Thank okay, you. make sure to use our link at notion.com slash genius. <laughs> Thank you, Notion. I am really happy that you brought up the quest. Actually, I, I think it's I think it's genuinely, even though we've like gone back and forth, and been like this is the end of the conversation. I think it is the perfect end of the conversation because it shows how differently we see that we see Vision Pro. Like it perfectly, it's it's the perfect illustration. You look at Meta Quest Three. You say that five hundred dollar product is awesome. Did you say I love it, or did you say it's 
find it. I think you no, said I love it. it. I love the okay, Quest. Okay, okay. You what love the MetaQuest 3. The software experience is not great. The resolution is not great. The specs aren't great, but that is excused for $500. I feel 100% the opposite of you. I okay. think the MetaQuest 3 for $500 is a waste of money. I think you wow. would be better off not having it than having it. And I think that what Meta is doing Sam. for marketing is with it is so far off base and out of touch. It's the reason no one has bought that product. I'm like, of sh- there are millions of users for Quest. I'm shocked that you're saying this because when we tried Quest and stuff, it made you Initially, excited for Vision Pro. Yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. This is the exact experience you would expect for $500. Just the same way the $3,500 Vision Pro should be the exact experience I expect for $3,500, $4,000. No, I disagree. I think okay. that for $500, the Quest is not a good experience because for $500, wow. you can buy you an really iPhone. You really said and I think that's a way people would be better off not having it. No, that's, I, I that's believe That's quite that. the statement. But, but here's why. And... and you you nailed it. The, the fact that you think, yeah, the fact that you think Meta's, you said this, right? That Meta's quest is more human than Vision Pro? The, no, no, no. I, the, no, I said Vision Pro is more, they've done a better job of making it more human and intuitive, like the eye tracking oh, okay. and, the, and yeah. the no controllers and stuff. Like they, they've made, like once you have a Vision Pro on, you would, I would hope, a hundred out of a hundred times choose the Vision Pro over the Quest and that clunky experience. But Quest has done something that has gotten people to give it a sh- to give VR a shot in a way that Apple hasn't. <laughs> but that's exactly what the early days of PC and Mac and Android versus iPhone and Pebble versus Apple Watch was. I, I don't understand what, what the you, missing what, link hang on, is. What do you mean? That's what exactly what it was. When Apple invented the iPhone, they th- it wasn't as if there wasn't a device on the market that wasn't fine for making phone calls and that had a web browser on it and that you could load MP3s onto, the, they but this, did it in a way that was accessible. Yeah, exactly. This is the, this is... I'm talking about exp- experientially, not, not financially, to be clear. But the, but the product, we're, we're on the same page about how incredible the technology is. We're not on the same page about how they've marketed it. That's, that's the, that is literally the only separation between this conversation. Yeah, and I don't I'm think the I'm not making the argument right Division Vision now. Pro is... Is is bad that it's a bad product or flawed or anything? I don't. But I don't be, think the marketing in, matters right now for this. The marketing always okay. I, that, there we go. That's our disagreement. Agree, uh, yeah, agree you to think disagree. the marketing matters yeah. right now that Apple flubbed it? I think right now at, the marketing for this product is almost insignificant. That's absolutely fair, and I will respect that argument. Yeah, and I, re- I respect I just, that you think all, it doesn't. Yeah, I just I feel like that's incorrect, and yeah, you feel that's like okay. that's correct, and that's the actual only yeah. disagreement. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I I just don't consider marketing for a product like Vision Pro to be. It doesn't whatever. It's whatever it like, right but now. it doesn't. It doesn't matter to you. No, the quality that's, of the that's product. Interesting. Right away matters. If I now if I put this on, and again, I don't know. I might put this on. I am I really think that I'm not gonna use this every day. I don't plan to. I don't plan to think that this is light. I'm actually really scared about yeah, the weight. Like, and no I matter fear what it does, I don't know how the weight I'm gonna wear me. it every day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and I'm genuinely like sad knowing that it's heavy. And I really hope that there's a way or an accessory that comes out to make it better. But I am very disappointed to hear that this first gen product is like that. I also recognize I've only owned one first gen Apple product in my life and it was the original Apple Watch. People go back to that original Apple Watch and they say it was horrible, it was slow, it was awful. I don't remember that. I remember the magic of being able to track my workouts, yeah. getting my notifications and see the time and that fucking changed my life, dude. Yeah, it's easy to say stuff in hindsight like it didn't do this it, and yeah. And looking back, I can now remember like, oh yeah, it relied only, there was literally like no processor in the watch. It had to get all the data from your phone. Uh I remember loading things and them being slow, but it didn't matter. 
even if that experience wasn't what it should have been on day one, even if the marketing might have been misleading for the Apple Watch being game-changing on day one, it still made my life magical and better in a way that another consumer tech product had never done. Like, mm-hmm. I was just like, this is the watch I've wanted. I didn't own the first-gen iPhone. Man, I wish I did so I could have, like, context right now for the audience. Man, I wish I owned the first-gen iPad. I didn't have enough money. My parents weren't buying me a $500 tablet because my parents uh-huh. didn't get what a tablet was. Like, I think Apple's exactly where they need to be. I think some things like the battery and the weight are bad and dumb and need to be fixed, but we're already hearing the second gen is fixing those things. Like the Apple but, Vision yeah, Pro but like, 2 is I don't doing give a fuck. It. That's all noises too. Like I can't even begin to excuse the first version. It's not even out yet because we've heard good news about the second version. I I'm still not just spent $4,000 on this one. I don't have it yet. I'm excusing the fact that if this better be magical. But yeah, if I put this on and I'm unimpressed with the screens... I'm going to be pissed. And you're going to hear me on this podcast every week for two years saying Apple messed up and and did it. I'm just saying Apple's track record is there and that's all we have before we try this. And going against it like you are is interesting. I also agree. I made a whole documentary where at the end of the documentary, I said, I know I've been like negative about Vision Pro, but what do I know? I'm just some guy. But like, two things can be true at once. I can actually feel this way and communicate it and also be honest that I could be off my fucking rocker. I could be wrong. Yeah, and and I want to be clear that I could be wrong too. Like, I'm not saying I am right. The the Vision Pro, maybe it feels like that. I'm just saying I'm taking Apple's track record. I'm taking what people like Andrew Edwards have said. Andrew Edwards says this is the most magical experience he's ever had with consumer tech. It probably is going to be mine as well, yes. It's like a YouTube video, like- it's like the YouTube video stuff. Like, it doesn't matter how good your video is if no one clicked on it. The fact that Andrew Edwards tried this three different times and he was still terrified about missing pre-orders because he cares about it that much. That means something. Of course. it. You, you are, but again, you're, you can't keep using the same demographic as the argument when I already don't see that as a... I, I, that's a given. That's a default that, of course, people like us and people like... An- Apple picks people like Andrew Edwards for that exact reason. Which, by the way... Never mind. I, I'm not going to say. I'm not I'm not even going to be upset that they... No. I'm, App, I, 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 Apple, I, Andrew should not though. have to pre-order his own. I'm just saying that. that and I'll leave it at there. Anyway... Uh, as we started talking, I guess not start, we're towards the end of the talking now, but I have become mad about something irrationally now. Mm, okay. The more we talked about it and the more it keeps getting brought up, I'm getting angry. And I didn't, Ooh. I wasn't angry at first. Ooh, okay. I thought, I think it's horseshit that you got to buy all the accessories and all the accessories are $200, like the case and the and, and extra batteries yeah, and stuff. We should show those. The battery is $200. It is $100 per hour. The battery only lasts two I hate two when hours. you say it like that. I don't yeah. like that at all. It's That's pissing me off now that they've made this incredible experience and it only lasts two hours. And if you want it to last longer than that, you got to wait and charge it again. Or you buy another battery that's on deck, buy a third battery on deck, keep spending money. Who cares? You already spent $3,500, right? What's another two? Why is the battery that size? If it's external, if it's not going to contribute to the weight on your face because it can go anywhere now, it's on Hmm. a cord, it can go in your pocket. Why is the battery that size, you absolute assholes? Why would you do that? How? Where, in what world is a two-hour battery life all right? Do we know the milliamp hours or how much the battery weighs? I, I don't know about I think weight, they but did say that actually on the page. And it's Let a metal casing, it. right? Yeah, tech specs. So it's got to be heavier than like something like the MagSafe battery pack. Um, battery. Oh, separate battery. Whoa! Holy fucking hell! It's thirty. It's three hundred and fifty-three grams. 
So 350, that, that is... That's almost as heavy as the Quest. That's three quarters of a pound. Holy... See? If you're like, oh, well, we so could only make why. it two hours uh, what because we didn't want it to be bigger. Well, why don't you make it bigger? Oh, because then it'll be heavier. Don't make it out of fucking metal! Like, why isn't... Why is two hours of battery life on this thing acceptable? Maybe... Uh, that's There's insane. So many questions. There's so many questions that I have. And and again, I agree that's ridiculous. Like that is crazy. That's crazy that it's that That's much just like a separate. I'm not saying it's going to do poorly because it's only two hours. Just on a personal level, that now, fucking sucks. What I'm planning to do is because you can plug the battery pack into USB-C for all day power, I'm going to plug the battery pack into another like you green battery pack, and oh I'm gonna plug God. that battery pack that into another insane. different battery pack, and I'm gonna have all day battery life off of battery packs. You're gonna look crazy. You're gonna be way John. We're down. gonna look crazy wearing this either way. But the second I step on American Airlines, I'm gonna be put on the no fly list because I look like I'm about to bomb it. It's heavy on your face, and it's good. now you're gonna have another. You have two battery packs. I'm gonna have three, maybe. I might have two Vision Pros with me on the plane. I'm That's crazy insane. and unpredictable. That's Apple. You shouldn't make us do that. That's fucked up. Two yeah, hours crazy. is not. Mm -mm. That is one hundred percent going to be the stain. I think is the weight. The weight in the battery. I think will be the stain of this product. There's yeah, no I think we'll always Just look like back and go, was, "Man, that did not last. <laughs> that did not last yeah. long." Just like the original iPhone was like no app store and two G. Like, dude. Yeah. Think about the iPhone. This is something I was talking about with Luke Miani the other day when we were in the car in the mountains of Japan coming home. Do you realize how outdated? edge networking was when the oh. iPhone launched. Pretty That's, great. I would say for a mobile phone connecting to data, that is That's equivalent ridiculous. to a two hour battery or a crazy weight. Like there's always something that Apple rushes past. And you could argue, did the iPhone come too early? I mean, 2G and no app store is pretty bad. No, 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 but they needed to take that risk at that time. Exactly, that's, that's what they're doing with Vision Pro. No, Checkmate, is, gotcha, it's game over, I'm out. Sam, that, I, I, we didn't, nothing new has been said. I, this is the same thing I said before. This is not the same company that had to throw together a Mac with thoughts and prayers. This is not the same company that lost it. This is, an, this is a $3 trillion company with unlimited time, unlimited resources, unlimited talent that can do anything they want. They don't have. They don't have to take. Ri this isn't a risky product. Anyway, two hours is not enough. That's really. You I cannot agree. have movie if you are going to say use movies as one of your selling points, and be like, "Wow, look, three D movies is going to be so incredible." And if you're going to say that, I should be able to make it through any goddamn movie on the planet. Want to know something? <laughs> Want to know something else that's pissing me off that I saw that absolutely nobody's been talking about? That, that is actually insane for this product. What's pissing you off? You know what's pissing me off about Vision Pro? Show my screen. So Sorry. Apple has confirmed the built-in apps. John, nearly half of the built-in apps are just iPad apps. Apple hasn't even optimized their own apps, including books <laughs> or news. For Vision Pro? Dude. That's, yikes. That's insane. The fact that they have not just thrown iOS devs making these apps, or just don't put them at all. You know, frankly, I know I need all of these on my Vision Pro if it's going to be my new spatial computer. Why are these not Vision Pro apps? Now, I have a feeling Apple in, in successive updates, Mark Gurman sort of hinted at this, is going to fix it before like you know in in subsequent versions and software updates and i'm so excited for the software updates it's going to be so exciting especially wibdc this year is going to be crazy but like <sighs> i saw that now luckily the most important app is optimized for vision pro encounter dinosaurs everybody give it up give terrible it up. icon i mean it's fine it should, it's kind of i mean it looks like ios 6 but i kind of love that about it and I do like, I do like that the mindfulness app is there on day one. And oh God, just like, I could just see the roadmap for this product. And what this is going to do is somebody that, I mean, I know you have your mental health struggles. We talked about this, but I was just mm -hmm. thinking about like, for me, I was really stressed last night about a number of things we don't have to get into. I was having a rough time. And the idea that I could just put this on and like disconnect for a second 
that that's sounds a, that's appealing. a weird way. Disconnect for a second while you're wearing a dis- disconnect from headset. reality. Yeah. That sounds nice to me. Like to be able to see the floating little yeah. leaves. People people reported that like it gave them a new experience therapeutically. That sounds mm. really cool. And okay, we should we should show a couple of other things. So Speaking the guided of, tour. Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go. You go first. Well, I was gonna say, speking of like apps, people are complaining right now, and I just tweeted this as well. People are complaining. Mm, we should talk because yep. Netflix, Spotify, YouTube are not coming to Vision Pro. Now, people have, and again, I don't speak for everybody. As we know, the tech <laughs> niche demographic on Twitter, X, whatever, specifically those people are uh, morons. But some of, uh, some of them, a lot of them, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, well, I'm going to cancel Netflix now. Like, a lot of people are viewing this as a Netflix and YouTube and stuff, not either not believing in Vision Pro or like trying to get back at Apple or like taking this as some sort of personal thing. Those companies rely, thrive, and depend on being cross platform. It doesn't matter if they agree with the company or not. If the people are there, it is their job to make the revenue and be where the people are. Wherever they're going to make the most revenue is where they're going to be. Those those major companies, Apple is going to launch Vision Pro with Apple's native apps that are barely native. A lot of them are just iPad apps. And a lot of indie developers that have jumped on board, which, honestly, all the respect in the world to those people, they're also taking a risk and taking a chance. Um... And they're going to do a lot for the future of Vision Pro, especially, you know, starting with with uh, Vision Pro right on launch. Yeah. Those companies, either way, at most, if Kuomingchi is right, there are 80,000 users upon launch. 80,000 users is a lot for an indie developer. That is like a gold mine of people. 80,000 people for Netflix or YouTube or Spotify is meaningless that doesn't move the needle for anybody though those companies just aren't putting the resources and the time the money into developing a native app for vision pro at launch because there's not enough users that's just a simple business decision there's nothing more to that i would imagine when there are more users there will be apps I would also assume that there a lot of people mentioned. Well, like, why don't they? All they have to do is just enable their iPad app. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. The same reason you just freaked out about Apple doing that. No, all, no, no. If it, what I what I'm what I'm arguing is that I think again could be completely wrong. But the fact that they haven't enabled an iPad app to me tells me that they do actually have plans to pour resources and develop a Vision Pro app for Netflix, for YouTube, for whatever. Uh, and until then, they would rather just not do the bare minimum. The bare minimum is turn on the iPad app, uh, and then they'd have to test the iPad app and pour resources on that for Vision Pro and stuff, and they just, they'd rather not give you a subpar experience if they plan on giving a good experience, is my argument. And so why just don't even bother with that. Wait till there are more users and then put your app out. It is not Netflix's job or YouTube's job to believe in Vision Pro and help it grow. It is their job to make revenue when there's revenue to be made and that just isn't there yet. I assume they're they're probably developing stuff right now. They just don't have anything lo- ready for launch because there's not enough people on launch for that to be justified. Yeah, but I know it it's literally they had to uncheck a box to give people yeah. a worse web experience on the product. No, like no, that, no, but no, no, that's no. silly. That, that's the interesting thing, though. They aren't giving anyone a. They aren't giving anyone a worse experience. When people, when regular people download an app, they don't know. Oh, this is the iPad app. They're just like, this is what Netflix built for me to use. Yeah. If it's just the iPad app on Vision Pro, that's not enough for Netflix, apparently. And they don't want people to have that experience. The browser experience, no matter what, if you're on a desktop, on your mobile device, or on Vision Pro, is a is just a browser experience. And the browser experience is, gonna, is going to make or break th- with Apple. If the browser experience is bad, that is the fault of Vision Pro for having a bad browser experience. I don't what? think... The vi- Hang on. <laughs> listen to me. What... What are you talking about? If you had a bad experience on Safari, Safari would be a bad browser. 
I am not saying that the browser in Vision Pro is going to be bad. In fact, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a standard browser experience, and you're going to go on Netflix like you would on Netflix on uh, Safari. The Netflix app on the Quest is a full immersive VR experience. It's a bad one at like 480p, but it is not. It is not just an iPad app. YouTube also has a VR app. These apps, for the most part, have been like not great because the resolution is is not great. This is now much higher fidelity, much more potential to develop a good app. And when there are enough users, let's say there are a million users. Netflix drops an app that is suddenly a million people are talking about that is really good. Re I'm using air quotes. Really good for Netflix. Uh, that will be an actual immersive experience. And until then, if you're going to watch stuff like you would on a browser, watch it in the browser until we have something figured out. I just don't think it's like a... I don't. I think the, the boycott the companies don't pay for Netflix because oh. they don't believe in Vision Pro is really silly. Oh, that part, the boycott a company for that at the same time. Yeah, there are people that like canceled the Netflix subscription over not having a Vision Pro app. At the same time, that's the user's right. Mm. It like, absolutely is the user's right. I'm just telling you as someone who's like the middle ground between the industry and the users that this is just business being business. John, I just got to be honest. I feel like everything you say is somehow negative for Vision Pro. It's like not the, if the brow if, if Netflix not, is bad, it's because the browser's bad. Like no, just, I'm uh, not saying anything. Netflix no, is being silly. Netflix is being silly by in the me you are exhausting Dude. me because that's not I, what no I you're said. exhausting me because that's not every, what I said. In fact, I said that's what I it don't, sounds like though. And I you're, said I, feel like I you need don't to translate. Think, I don't think the browser experience is going to be bad in Vision Pro. But, I think okay. the browser experience is going to be just it's going to be right on par and almost seamless between how you would use the browser on a Mac. I'm saying for the people that are assuming that the experience is going to be bad, I'm saying. You can't just assume that. If the experience is bad in a browser, it is the it is the fault of the people that developed the browser. Other than that, it's going to load Netflix like Netflix loads on Safari. If but you have a bad Netflix experience on Safari and they need to fix it, or like on any browser, Netflix problem. But if you if it's going to load like it does in the browser, it's just going to load like it does in the browser. It shouldn't be any worse than that. First of all, we're nerds for even arguing about we what, really are browser versus nerds. web app. All but the I'm fact that you're you can't John, you can't download Netflix stuff on the browser. Okay. Netflix chose to give customers a worse experience on Vision Pro by not allowing them to download content, and that is silly. No, they they haven't. <laughs> I don't know how that's not clear. It's not they they are just not putting the time, money, and resources. You don't need helping, time. It's a checkbox and Xcode into helping eighty. They don't want to do that though. They don't want to give a subpar experience. That's what I'm saying. It's Hang not on. Wait, 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 wait. If if I will, I will, I will concede my argument here. If Netflix in a year doesn't have a Netflix app on Vision Pro, this th there was something else. This is weird. But what, what I am saying is before everyone gets their pitchforks out, I think it is very safe to assume that these things are being made and they would rather just on the first try give you a better experience because the regular user is not going to understand, oh, it's only subpar because it's an iPad app. They're just going to see the Netflix app and Netflix doesn't want to look bad in a VR experience. They, they, they obviously, to me, and all these companies hopefully, likely, have plans to give you a native experience made for Vision Pro. So it's best to just wait out, build that experience, and deliver that experience. Don't deliver a subpar experience first. If it's not worth if then it's not say, worth then them, if it's not worth them being there for launch, because it's not. They don't gain anything out of being there first for 80,000 people. They just don't. It's just business. They just don't gain anything. No, no. I'm not arguing against the business argument. I understand why they haven't poured resources. I think it's silly as a mm. company. I think you should always try to be on the forefront of everything. Like, we'll jump into this in a second because I want to show you a lot of apps that are in development that have surprised me, that have extremely excited mm. me about this product. But yeah, the fact that Netflix, just say it. Say we're building a Vision Pro app. It's the fact that they disabled mm. it and are like, we are not going to be there on day one. Confirming well, statements to media outlets. Know, I don't, that is I don't silly. know that they can. I think they're, hang on, hang on. Listen, Sam, please just hang on. Just don't, I'm not trying to work you up. I promise. 
But you are I'm just you're saying, confusing I'm just, no, me. I'm saying if I'm the CEO of Netflix, okay. I'm not saying shit. I'm not saying we're working on vision on a Vision Pro app. That is giving to Vision Pro just as it would if you had an app there. Like just stay quiet until you see how it's going to go. You and I have I have a good feeling that in 5 years this is going to be great. Agree. You have a good feeling. We believe in Apple. We've seen their track record. We know. But launching with 60 to 80,000 units is scary for these companies and they're not going to commit because it could crash and burn. Like there is still a chance that somehow it's a very small chance. But there's a small chance that this doesn't reach enough users that justifies a Netflix app for and that that's their own threshold. Netflix internally is going to have their own number of users to put out an app. That's their own thing. I don't know if that number is a million, two million. I don't know. But if you're unsure that they're going to, if and when you're going to reach that number, don't say a goddamn word at all. That's Companies should do more of that. That's how things like air power happen. Saying stuff too early. Just wait. Just wait. Because if you promise, a, if you promise a Netflix app, if you say you're working on one, then you gotta you then you have to do then you have to put the resources and you have to release it, even if the user base is never high enough, never met your internal threshold. So they're just gonna wait until that threshold is met. If there's enough users and if it makes sense for them to put out an app on Vision Pro, that should say, that's good for Vision Pro. I would rather Vision Pro is not filled with subpar experiences like when the iPad apps. I just had the iPhone app kind of blown up a little bit. Like I'd rather just give them a good experience when you can give them a good experience and don't taint what Vision Pro can do. The w- I think what what and Apple should have done the same thing. I don't like that they have iPad apps there either, but you know Apple's going to do whatever. This thing should be if you spend $3,500 and the hardware is as kitted out as this, every experience on that thing should take full advantage of the hardware. Yeah, let's agree to disagree on the implementation. You think Netflix is right to do it. I think Netflix looks stupid, and I was literally going to research to Netflix. No, I don't think it's this. right. Like, I think that they should have it on there, too. I'm just explaining. From a business level, I understand why they're not. From a personal standpoint, like from my, my own morals, I guess... Sure, yeah, turn it on. All I'm doing is trans. I'm just the middleman. I don't, I don't like middleman. I, I just want. I don't need I you. To, I just want you to tell me I how do, you feel. That is how I feel. People, people are looking at this as like a, a petty move, and I just don't. Th- I'm just trying to tell you. I don't think it's that deep. I don't think it's that petty. I don't think. I don't think that's what's happening. People and some people in my on the on my tweet were like, "Well, Dis- what about Disney? Disney's on there." Disney has a full, I think it's my last reply, took a screenshot of uh, some Business Insider article. It is uh, Bob Iger partnered with, Bob Iger's the CEO of Disney. They, right at WWDC, they announced the partnership together. Mm -hmm. They are, there's a partnership there. If if Apple wants to create a partnership and share revenue or pay Netflix to be on Vision Pro, everybody wins. But that's likely not what happened. And Vision Pro is not a chair, or sorry, uh, <laughs> Netflix isn't a charity. They're just going to have to figure it out like any other business would. Yeah. I'm glad Disney's on there though. That's going to be crazy. Yeah, the, I wish Netflix the... was on there and ready to launch too, but obviously they're not. So let's look at some sick apps because I don't know if you've seen some of these, but like let's look at them. Oh, so M1 much cool stuff is Astra, coming. Really yeah, good account a great, for great Vision account, Pro things. Account. Best bud, uh, dude. Best so bud. Look, <laughs> there's a Lego. That's pretty sweet. Dude, come on. You can see this Legos is, this in VR. This is the stuff that HoloLens used to show us when they first announced HoloLens back in the day, but like it would actually, yep. this is actually going to be good. Art Universe, where you can see art in Vision Pro, that looks very, very cool. You've got, you can scan objects in and see them. That seems That's like it would be sweet. great to be able to see. The, oh, we see the packaging for, and we, we have more huh. on this later in the show. Guys, this is just okay. an absolutely packed episode. We have so much. Um, we've got the Zeiss packaging that looks sick we've got microsoft teams everybody you can Word. work in vr dude can we talk about how absolutely gorgeous vision os is yeah the blur is just stunning i love the it rounded so much. dude all of it is i i wish i hope ios eventually looks like this i mean i guess Power, that takes oh, away from too. vision os if everything looks me like too. this but excel this is sick to see lows you can basically see an entire collection in a room yeah you could put this exact refrigerator in your room and see what it looks like. John, this 
not holding up a dumbass iPad like AR kit, seeing it, yep. seeing what your house is going to look like. This is something that nobody is using for MetaQuest because it's bad and dumb and doesn't feel real. And, and we the, agree. Uh, I'm arguing and, like we don't agree on and that. And the, uh, the training capabilities, too, that Apple has like yes. vaguely yes, mentioned. Yes, yes. Like surgeons being able to learn surgery and uh, mechanics being able to work on any car in the world. Like that is, that's incredible. That's all Dude, look amazing. look at this. Heart I, X. I, I, this is I a $50 hope, app. I wish my doctor. This is a $50 app. Dude, I can learn how to like apply a tourniquet in it for cardiac stuff. <laughs> We're like, going to come back a week after having Vision Pro. Dude, like, oh, real yeah, life sir. rehearsal. This is actually sick, dude. This is going to be game changing for education as well. Absolutely. Jig space. Dude, I could, are you, what? You can see the, it's, I've always wanted to see the inside what? of a jet and how it works. Yeah, that's, dude. That, it's crazy. Oh, and this is the first version of all of these apps. That's what that's that's, what I'm that's even crazier. That's crazy. Oh, look at this. This is an old jailbreak, dude. Newer century. Oh, God. Oh, God. So loud. He made a sick. (sighs) You can like go through space, bro. I've never been in space before. That's it's it's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I mean, a lot of, oh, and don't forget the spatial Bible app. Of course. Of course. Wait, look at what, what does that button do? View object in 3D. Yeah, you can see the objects below to bring the Bible to life. Dog, John. bruh. That looks crazy. You want to see just, Babylonian? That, it, it just made me unironically say dog, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of God, my bro, lord. Bro, bro. God, dude. Oh. God, this looks good. <laughs> the carrot weather app. Love carrot. Mm. Dude. Now we've got some other bonuses. Carrot I, I want to show a couple one, like, other design, things. Design app design of the year with Apple. So yeah, just so on iPhone app. We got the pricing for storage. It's two hundred dollars per doubling your storage. So five twelve yeah. is thirty six ninety nine. A terabyte's thirty eight ninety nine. Honestly, better than I thought. To be fair, I don't care. I don't care what the context is. The base model should not have 256 gigabytes storage for $35. Agreed. No, no, we're fully That's, aligned on that. That is come silly. On. Like, um, there's so many, like, there's still, um, I bought it, but they they still, oh, yeah. they, they know silly. the exact areas to get away with stuff. The exact yep. ways that'll piss me off, but not piss me off enough. Dude, look at this. So it comes with attached the standard loop, which I'll definitely be trying. Yep. Uh, the dual loop is in the box. Great to see that that's included. A little yes. cover for the bare minimum. You've got your battery included, light seal cushion. Did you see the polishing cloth? So on the polishing <laughs> yeah, it cloth, says, it, it is engraved Vision, Vision Pro. Pro. That's different, a different polishing cloth than every other Vision Pro. So they're doing things to make these special for the super fans like us that buy these, which is pretty they're doing sick. something special. They just took the regular cloth and, and now it says Vision Pro 2. <laughs> Yeah, but you I, can only get that they, in Vision Pro. I'm saying that they're making. Look it what for the they super can fans. do, though. They can fuck us on storage. They can fuck us on accessories. But they engrave the cloth, and you're like, oh, they just do it to make make us feel special. I want to yeah. fucking die. I know, I know. Oh, there's Gurman. um. Okay, last few things. We got a couple of updates from him. Very exciting. He says there's about 230 native apps ready for release. Um. Which is sick. Okay. Lowe's J Crew, that's dope. But wait, what happened new- to Oh What? I, well they said we got a million apps in the app store. But yeah, now I realize Fucking shouldn't be able to say things like that. Ah! You- Apple, fuck this, man. This I love you, but Jesus so- Christ. I don't understand how you are not beaming with excitement, John. Just 300 and 300 every, something apps is uh, so much different than a million. I'm just, I just heard, I just, this is my first time hearing in real time. There's only 300 crazy. something native I don't know apps. How you didn't know that. Fucking, Dude, oh my God. I, if I nothing could fist that my Apple own does, asshole and just rip my heart get right me excited out, for this. I nothing would. Nothing get me excited. This is, by the way, this episode is called the Vision Pro Intervention. That's what this is going to be called because you need one. <sighs> Mark Gurman. Apparently, there's been retail meetings today. There's some cool little tidbits in this about. Okay, first of all, so 
uh, did you get yours in store? Your pre-order? I guess we didn't even no, confirm. Yeah, we both house. pre-ordered it. Okay, so you're. I've got. Uh, Which I've I got, regret. I'm now. getting one for pickup. But is there an Apple store near you? It's like an hour away. And <sighs> do you uh, want to fly to LA? I, okay, what if I told what you? Am I, how am I gonna get mine? What if I told you that I may have one that you could have if you come what, to LA? What for about launch? the one I had? And it's you could help me. me film videos that weekend. I need a cameraman. I'm gonna hire somebody. Actually, anybody in LA area. Wow. Looking for camera. I like how work. it went from John, can I have you? Actually, anybody. Uh, hit me <laughs> up on uh Oh. I, there's a new service that I've been using that I'm actually uh partially involved with. I'll have more on this in coming weeks, but go to hitmeup.ai slash Sam Cole. Um, oh, what? Let me go to the website. Let me show you. Uh, so go to hitmeup.ai slash Sam Cole. How am I? What, uh, and how, send, me, I, an, I send me a message. This. You're actually in my picture right now. Oh, um, wow. But if you want to do any work for me, hit me up on this. Contact me through here. Um, and that's what how we will, is this? we will collaborate. This is an entirely new service for creators. Is this a sponsor or is, did you make this? No, I am. Uh, I'm involved with the startup. Like I'm on. How are you not telling? Why I'm an are you advisor. Just not telling me this. Uh, just because it's only be, like I, you know, the paperwork and stuff. But yeah, this is a project I'm involved with. It's pretty cool. Um, you can even have like conversations with like my AI chatbot, okay. and it like sort of knows who I am. But yeah, That's there's a lot of so things on the roadmap. Very cool. But uh, yeah, I just want to say if you want to if you want to reach out. So yeah, you have to be local. Uh, need experience or like work, and obviously it's paid. But. That or John Prosser will just come here and then you'll be out of a job, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, anyway, so yeah, just do that. Well, we, the reason I'm saying that is because we discovered yeah. that the in-store pickup, you get a special bag, just like you did with the original iPhone. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Well, let's just tease it. But okay, there's a, there's a number of things. So first of all, in-store pickup, you can either take it and leave, or you can go through the in-store demo and do a one-to-one setup to verify size fit. Now, me needing to make videos, I'm going to have to go. But I, okay, so we should, this is something to note. During setup, what size did you get? I got one medium, medium on one scan and one small on another. And I don't love that. Yeah, I don't, well, like, so mine was pretty flawless. I, uh, on purpose, I prepared for not having to, like, go through their prescription stuff by, I just ordered contact lenses. And that'll help me. So, like, because my prescription changes every year, and now next year I won't have to get lenses through Apple. I just I have yeah. I'll have contacts. Uh, anyway, so pre order went super smooth for me. Uh, and in, but like I worry about it. Doesn't matter if it was that smooth if it wasn't accurate because I I it was like medium. Sure, that sounds right because I got a medium and that sounded right to me. And then I find out later that you have got, you were you scanned multiple times and got different sizes a few and times. Other and that worries as well. me. Andrew Edwards said the same thing happened to him. That uh, a bunch worries of people online me quite a said the same thing. I'm very scared. So, but it sounds like it will be easy. So German follows up by saying, if a customer sets with a device at home and there's a sizing issue, they can come back to the store for a swap. So that's good to hear that it's not going to yeah. be like this Just, whole okay, thing. That, that's it's fine, John. Just drive an hour to do the swap. Oh my god! What, okay, you live in Arkansas, dude. Like, do you really expect there to be Vision Pro support, or should there be Vision Pro supports for Arkansas? I don't think that's a very smart business decision for Apple as a company to sell products in Arkansas because nobody there can spell anyway. <laughs> just kidding. It's I live. Yeah, you're gonna cut that part. And we're back, guys. John uh, just doxed. You cut are the out. number one doxer. <laughs> You are the no one doxes themselves more than you. Like it's that genuinely impressive. Somehow every episode. I mean, I'm a I, far second, dog. No, I'm a you, far I, second. I'm far down second the road. Into doxing me. I'm down <laughs> at Target, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, okay. This I found interesting. Okay. And I don't know what this means. What German says at the end of it, an in-store demo, it's going to be a 20, 25 minutes, the customer is given the opportunity to buy Vision Pro with the sizing they were fitted for. So do you think that Apple's going to have special units reserved that, like you can only get by doing the demo? Because that's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, it do, do kind of sound like that. Okay, next. This is fascinating. The packaging is giant, like the size of two Mac studio boxes or what? a large shoe box. Wow. So it's, I mean, that's going to be, that's that going to be sense. about this. I imagine opening the box and it's all kind of like the, 
the renders of it being separated, like the parts separating. I imagine yeah. it looking like that in the box. Mm, that's going to be so sick. He said it comes pre-attached with the solo band, um, but then he adds there are also commemorative shopping bags. So if you guys mm. remember this, I totally forgot that Apple did this because, again, I didn't have the first-gen iPhone. But, dude, they're going to do bags like this at launch, which is a picture. So it's, a, cool. it's a special black shopping bag you could only get for the launch of the iPhone. Yeah. Dude. That's so fucking cool. It do, it do look real crazy, like. That's so cool. You're going to be walking around and you're going to be like, what's that bag? That's special. It's my Vision Pro bag. <sighs> it's my Vision Pro. Dude, look at how happy. That's going to be me. That's literally me. Look at how me. happy. That's going to be me, dude. Oh, shit. How can you not be just beaming with excitement? I I am excited. I'm just not. No, you're as not beaming. You. You're not beaming. Yeah, I'm not beaming. There's I'm no excited. beams being I'm emitted regular, from you. I'm regular human excited. Okay, this is the last tidbit. Um, some stores are anticipating little to no day one availability for non pre orders. So it sounds yeah, I was like wondering that. Okay. Well, he said some stores though. So mm. it seems like if you didn't get one, you might be able to at the last second get one or maybe go in for a demo. I mean, I, I would say if you didn't pre-order one and suddenly, you know, the reviews, I guess, are going to come out. Do, by the way, do we know when, like, Marquez, iJustine, the the Apple elites are going to be putting out their reviews? Uh, Well. Mr. Who's the Boss? I want to say they won't. What like, I, no, everyone had to buy their own units. So I would imagine there's no like early review drop like there is for other stuff where they got the products early and get to review them and then they put their video out. I don't think, I, I, I feel like their review is going to come when everyone else can review it too. Isn't Wait, that weird? You think that like I could be one of the first hands, actual hands on videos of Vision? See, don't get me excited like that because that's going to change my whole content strategy. Go ahead. Okay, we're back. Yeah, basically what we're just trying to say, because we definitely didn't have to cut anything else out, is that like uh -uh. I, the fact that I, Justine, was up at 5 a.m. pre-ordering seems kind of insane. Like she is literally, she has gotten literally everything from Apple ever. Mm -hmm. And the fact that like this time it was like, ooh, she was up. Yeah. I mean, yeah, do you think that we would really not see reviews? I mean, to be fair, well, I guess I, I never really thought about it this deep until we're like actually thinking about the timeline. And I mean, I could be wrong. People like Marquez, like he might be, it might be an instance where, like, they they give out two review unit, units. You know, yeah. one's Marquez and one's somebody else, maybe in a different country. Or I get no, it wouldn't matter because it's only U.S. launch. So I, I actually don't know. It just feels like if they're up pre-ordering it with us, they're probably also getting it the same day we're getting it. Yeah. Gosh, it is exciting. I mean, I'm just... Which is also very interesting now that you think about it, that this product is being treated differently than the other launches. Why? Because it's such a different product. Period. Oh, no, Sam. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, Sam. I think that's all for this episode. I need to go out and see sunlight. I have not actually left my apartment in like three days since being home, which is not oh, healthy. <laughs> um, I've been starting to lose my mind. So is, do you have any parting shots? We, I think this is we had a good, no, I good episode. I enjoyed shots. this one. I'm not making any shots. I don't have any parting shots. I didn't that's mean all. it shot in a bad way. I just meant like that's a phrase, like any part of the Oh, no, shots. I don't. I don't. Uh, no, I hope I never even, I until February 2nd, I didn't even want to know the Vision Pro exists. I don't want to hear anything about it. I don't want I, to, I don't know, no other things until I try it. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep the night before. Like, I, I, I'm just too. Oh, wow. I've been doing that. No, no. Because, like, I couldn't sleep for iPhone launches before. I, like, I'm excited. But this really? is Really? Like, wow. Just, of course. How really? amazing. Uh, uh, how consumerism is incredible. <laughs> they they just yeah. made this thing to, buy, to make you pay for it, and you can't sleep the night before you're so excited to give yeah, them your money. Yeah, they put the iPhone in the capitalist trough, and I go... <laughs> That's so crazy. That's what I do. I want to be as excited as you are. Yeah, maybe if you were a geriatric, th almost 31-ass-year-old man, you'd have some life uh, left in you. Yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe if you didn't spread your life around the earth, <laughs> you'd have some more energy left <laughs> in you. Okie dokie, we'll see you next By week. By the way, I'm oh, curious. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> By the way, there we go. When is that thing happening? 
Because it's got to be soon. Have you made a decision? I'm not saying anything. He's not saying anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you for coming to the Genius Bar. We'll see you next week, baby. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Two more episodes. One more. One more. This is the next episode after. We'll have it. One more episode until. One more episode. And I got a plan for that one. So stay tuned for next week. I've got a secret. Huh? What? What? What'd you say? I'm sorry. What? You okay?